Hello there guys. This is a short tutorial on how I do my backgrounds for my uh, pivot animations. Um, as you can see here we're on paint. It's not a <laughs> it's not one of the best programs to use for this, but I guess um, it does the job. Anyway, I'll take you off. Um, I'm actually working on some backgrounds now for other things, but the first thing you're wanting to do here is make sure you're using the default color settings here instead of these because once you ran, uh, once you uh, save your animation on pivot with if you use these colors they might mash up a bit and they don't pile up very well so I use these and it seems to run okay so um, I'll select one of these old base background go here and go to the sky brushes right, right. now you want your landscape whatever that's going to be, so so it's a grassy field a little bit of speck of grass and whatnot. Um, bring it, it doesn't really need to be fresh or clean or look anything like you would suspect grass to look like um, as it's only right, as you can see here you get some, hold on, some you get some of these choppity bits here I'm not sure why that is, but the original paint didn't do that, but this one does for some reason. So what I like to do is I'll go over it again in a bigger size. Like so. And I'm stopping at some points just to give it a bit more texture to it. And sometimes this can make it look worse. But if you really just you know, pay a little bit of attention to what you're doing. Yeah, it looks alright and it comes out pretty fresh. Also, I'm going to apologise now if you hear any background noise, there's a... I have my window open because it's quite warm and there are some things going on inside that might make quite a bit of noise. So, uh, the, I'm kind of new to this whole recording my voice on YouTube you know, for YouTube videos and stuff, so you know, any pointer should be good as well. Also, um, I'd like to know if you guys want to hear more from this sort of uh, me recording my voice over tutorials and stuff. Um, from my accent, you might be able to tell I'm not exactly a normal type of. I, I don't do this often. <laughs> um, so anyway, now that you have your basic, basic, you got your background, just got it. And you've got your foreground, which is the uh, the ground, which is the terrain you're going to be running on or doing short animations on. You can then go into depth with it. You know, maybe make a little spike here, spike here, and spike here. Right, um, just do whatever you know feels comfortable for you. Um, whatever makes it look good. The color I find the blue color really works well with pivot um, so does the dark green it's the same for the browns and stuff like that but I'll show you how I do uh, running animations and stuff using this sort of background so say that's one, we'll save that um, see if it's jpeg we'll call that green grass oh one that and then now that you've got that seed you can go ahead and pretty much destroy it or make it a new so what we'll do is we'll take that green go for the size um take this out and take that out so now what I've done is pretty much ruined what we did have <laughs> um one second if I speed this bit up
do. You're not looking at anything really specific, you know, it just needs to shift in the frame, so... Um, I usually make about three of these. Um, I'll show you an example now using the backgrounds on Pivot. Alright guys, so we have our basic backgrounds here, we've got one, two, three, four, the grass runs, and we have this, this guy. <coughs> and I'll show you how this works. Um, it's simple enough, pretty much one frame, bump this up to 14, which if you like it. Slide this along, moving about as if it's running. Switch it to the background too, which alters it. Um, we'll continue his running. I'm also going to be uploading a running tutorial for you guys very soon, so you're just going to enjoy that. Um, hopefully, you've learned a lot. You know, I'm just trying to help the Pivot community grow a wee bit because um, I've, I've noticed there isn't very many. There hasn't been an awful lot of uh, new tutorials out for new people starting using Puppet, so it'd be good for people. Right, so now we have four frames and background changes. Hold on, for the most part, hold on. Eek. Okay, this one needs to be changed to two. You just want to make sure there's a lot of diversity in it. Um, so it's not really looking like the same frame in the background an awful lot, so I'll check this out. Okay, that's your basic running animation there. And now he's running over some green fields instead of some sticks, which is always helpful. You know, you can do lots of things with this. Um, if you want me to go further in depth with it and show you how to alter the background as you use Pivot, then I'll make a tutorial for that as well. And if you if any anything you want, leave a comment at the bottom. I'll see if I can do it, and then I'll repost it. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and like and subscribe and all that good stuff. I'll catch you all there. Thanks.